the basement of one of the country's leading medical schools, Dr. Edward Jessup, candidate for a Nobel Prize, is conducting the most dangerous experiment in the history of science. And the subject of the experiment is himself. Ask him what kind of an experience I can expect. happens during these blackout periods is you get the feeling of phenomenal acceleration, like you're being shot out over millions, billions of years. Time simply obliterates. You guys are shooting off with an untested drug that stacks up in the brain and works in the nucleus of the cell, and you don't call that dangerous. Now, I'm asking you to put the experiment off until we understand a little more in order to there minimize the no risk. Way. I'm really frightened. We could be screwing around with this whole genetic structure. Now, how do we stop this? We've got millions of years stored away in that computer bank we call our minds. We have got trillions of dormant genes in us, our whole evolutionary past. Perhaps I've tapped into that. He may be on to something that is beyond our own comprehension. Now, because I believe him, I want this thing stopped. The hell was that? You okay? If you love me, if you love me, Eddie, defy it! Altered States. How did the United States develop the technology to pull ahead of the Russians in the space race? Many believe that a sophisticated guidance system was salvaged from a crashed UFO. Now, for the first time, a motion picture tells the story of these incredible events. It started with an accident in space. And it led to the crash of a large metallic disc in the Arizona desert. Military authorities immediately sealed off the area. We think it was a controlled landing. Give me a pass through to General Morrison. It means someone brought it in. Just lights. No visible sign of life. Not outside. And that someone is still in there. Is the government concealing information it considers too startling to reveal? Well, we're not going to go running around yelling, flying saucer. We don't finish what we started. It's all over for the president. Keep the lid on Hangar 18. Why have the facts been kept hidden from the American public? What is it our government doesn't want us to know? This new motion picture reveals the startling proof that the government actually has the wreckage of a flying saucer and the bodies of alien astronauts. You will learn the incredible story of the most startling government cover-up ever conceived. See the story of the UFO cover-up, Hangar 18. Columbia Pictures presents Heavy Metal. A trip beyond the future to a universe you've never seen before. A universe of mystery. A universe of passionate fantasies. A universe of terrifying evil. A universe of magic. Heavy Metal. fiction. The 
NCOM 511 computer, center of the most calculating intelligence on Earth. Within it, there exists an unknown civilization where man has never been. A startling new world where time and distance defy the laws of logic. I still do not understand why you want to break into the system. Because, man, somewhere in one of these memories is the evidence. Kevin Flynn, computer genius, searching for answers inside the system. Hey, 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 it's the big master control program everybody's been talking about. Stop, I'm warning you. I'm gonna have to put you on the game grid. <laughs> Propelled into the digital world of the computer itself. Oh man, this isn't happening. It only thinks it's happening. <laughs> There's been a mistake. I gotta see the guy in charge. You will. Who's that guy? That's Tron. Trapped inside an electronic arena where love. Escape. Do not compute. The journey begins across an electronic sea on cycles made of light. its world this summer. Centerville, Illinois is a nice place to live in. Hey, Bob and Colin. But you wouldn't want to visit there. And you definitely don't want to bring the family. Because the people of Centerville have a little secret they really would rather not share. Well, this is odd. No one has lived in that town since 1958. I know what I saw. You've intruded on a very delicate situation. I led them right to you. Twenty-five years ago, they came from another galaxy and joined the human race. Now, they're ready to leave, and some of us may be going with them. Strange invaders. Alex Gardner has a unique talent. And even he doesn't know what it can do. No one has ever done it before. No one has even conceived of doing it before. Going into another person's dream. You might have to see that, David. He is about to enter a world that no one has ever seen before. The world of your dreams. I was under the impression we were conducting scientific research here. You sound as if you don't approve. I can see you're going to be a real challenge to work with. Oh, wait a minute, Doctor. I haven't agreed to anything yet. There's somebody in my dreams. Who? An awful ugly monster. This kid is being eaten alive and nobody gives a damn. Whatever his demon is, 
You'll have to help him face it. There's nobody there. Are you sure, Alex? He's always there. But Alex will make a discovery more frightening than any dream. What's going on? I had to let you know you're in danger. You want my secrets? I just want some advice. I'm afraid he has to be killed. I'll assign some men to you. I think I should deal with this on my own. And now, his only way out is to go back in to the dreamscape. Kate Capshaw, Dreamscape. When you close your eyes, the adventure begins. How are you going to convince your people to allow Americans to go on the flight? We are going to get there first, and you have the knowledge to make the trip work. I'm going on the flight. How far away is Jupiter? Far. Oh. Mommy said you're going to be asleep for a long time. Are you going to die? Dr. Floyd. Dr. Floyd. Dr. Arlov has encountered some strange data coming from Europa. I will send Max down with a pod. I wouldn't do that. Oh, really? You want to send a pod down there, send an unmanned one. Hey, a piece of pie. Cake. Piece of cake. Cake, yes. If this date is correct, then there's something down there. It is correct. It was organic. There was life. Is it moving? Yes. It's incredible. Listen for a minute. We've got to get out of here. I can't just order us to leave here for no reason. Forget reason. There's no time to be reasonable. Can't find him! Are you sure you're making the right decision? I think we should stop. Something's going to happen. What? Something wonderful. They were just like everyone else. They dreamed of going to the stars. But unlike everyone else... What's going on here? They discovered a way to get there. You dreamt it, I built it, and it's our secret. It's pretty neat, huh? Then, they took it one step further. I christened thee the Thunder Road. And it worked. Look how fast we're going. I think we could go anywhere. Do you realize what it means? Now, they're about to find out just how far it can go. Let's face it. Somebody's calling us. Let's go. go. All around the world. Did you see what I said? The world is the only place. They're here. All around the world. Rock and roll is the only place. And you can't hear those two pop stopping. All night and all through the day. Explorers. We come in peace. <laughs> the adventure begins in your own backyard. Maroon. 
desolate planet. He is a soldier. Alone with his enemy. Don't you understand English, toad face? I don't love you and you don't love me. We're stranded here, you understand? His suspicion will change to tolerance. You saved my life. Why? I need to look at another face, even as ugly as yours. Tolerance will lead to friendship. We should open up a little place here. I could ruin the food. You could scare away the customers. <laughs> and with that friendship will come an overwhelming responsibility. You must be a parent. Don't get around, Jerry. You must take my place. Protecting a life he values more than his own. Dennis Quaid, Louis Gossett Jr., Wolfgang Peterson's Enemy Mine. Test pilot Tuck Pendleton wants to make history. Supermarket clerk Jack Putter needs a vacation. Jack, Sir, I'm Jack, sorry. you're late. That's not good. You know it's coupon day. Lieutenant Pendleton is about to be miniaturized, placed into this needle, and then injected into this rabbit. Rock and roll. But something went wrong, and Tuck's about to get a new destination. Inside Jack Putter. I'm in a man. Hello, can you hear me? I'm possessed! Now, Jack's got twice the problems. How you doing, Jack? But he's double the man. With Tuck on his side. Kick more accounts! In his gut. <laughs> and on his case. You're not gonna back groceries all your life, are you, Jack? And only 24 hours left for Jack to get out of danger so that Tuck can get out of Jack. <laughs> Dennis Quaid, Martin Short. Give yourself a shot of adventure. Inner Space. I want this car. Jonathan Miller would never do anything to break the law. I need the keys. Thank you. Bye. He is a very fine, very honest gentleman. Something strange is happening to some ordinary people. Yeah, that's Jack. Real nice man. What do he do, rob a bank? He's a law-abiding taxpayer, minding his own business. Killed 12 people, wounded 23 more, stole six cars, most of them Ferraris. If anybody deserves to go that way, sure in the hell's him. I've worked homicide for 13 years. Now. I have never seen anything like this. I want to know why it takes 15 shots to take down some zoned-out stripper. Why three law-abiding citizens all of a sudden go crazy and start killing people? Are we talking spacemen here? Something gets in his way, he kills it. Finds a body, gets inside, uses it to move around. Try for one on the tire. Do you think this is easy? One or two try. A career in the police didn't really prepare you for this, did it? The Hidden. You think it's over now? You're wrong.
The newcomers have arrived. They have their own customs, their own mysteries. It's like that. I hate this place. And their own crimes. My fellow newcomers will work very hard to make as much money as they can to give to me. Sykes, here's your new partner. My true name is Stangia Sorensa. Ah. Sorensa, well, Gesundheit. Now, James Kahn. So what do you got? This will stop anything. And Mandy Patekin are headed deep into newcomer territory. Get the ass, look. Well, your mother mates out of season. Into the heart of a mystery. Inside an alien world of violence. Desire. Tell me the truth. Have you ever made it with one of us? <laughs> and power. A sweet indulgence from our past. Resurrected for our future. It is called Shabrukam. Your people do not know about this part of our past. Beyond their darkest fears. He's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> Lies an evil beyond imagination. <laughs> Slipstream, the future. A river of turbulent wind has swept the skies, and nature has reclaimed the planet. In the desolate wasteland that remains, a mysterious fugitive is pursued and captured by a brutal lawman and his feisty tracker. When a wily bounty hunter grabs their prisoner. What the hell happened here? Mr. Rowan here thinks he's going to take our prisoner. They vow to track him to the edge of existence. Poison God. Now drop the gun and we'll talk about getting you the antidote. I never believe a man staring down the barrel of a gun. <laughs> well, you should this time. Now it's a race against time across dangerous territory. This is forbidden territory. What are you doing? You're under arrest. Dollar. Oh, <laughs> show him what we got, boys. This is what hell is. You're stuck in a place like this forever. I can help you. A battle of wits in an unknown land. I'll give you the antidote. Then I'll shoot you. That's what I like. Teamwork. A sense of fair play. You've misled them about us. So how can we know you're not misleading us about them? A test of courage under fire. I should kill you right now is what I should do. And this time there will be no prisoners. I'm not leaving with you. Slipstream.